Okay. Any other questions? Yes, I have one. Um, I've done all the steps that I feel is correct in doing the business plan and contacting banks and some investors, and I'm turning up empty. Um, where would I get the information to more people to contact or some more pointers or what okay, am I doing me, wrong? Well, I guess let me ask you, how many no's have you heard? 25. 25 no's? Is that last week? Yeah. Or is that in the length of the time you've been doing this? Because if you've heard 25 no's in the length of the time you've been doing this, you're not asking enough people. Finding funding takes effort. You know, let, let, let's use an example like maybe Atlanta, Georgia. Okay. There are hundreds of thousands of people. I'm not talking hundreds or thousands. I'm talking hundreds of thousands of people in the Atlanta, Georgia metropolitan area that are wealthy. They have access to cash. You take any marketplace around America, Phoenix, Arizona, Los Angeles, Seattle, Birmingham, Milwaukee, Cleveland, New York, Boston, Philadelphia, there is money on top of money on top of money. This country is built on money. Well, so you got to hear a lot more than 25 no's. you got to hear hundreds of no's. And if you hear hundreds of no's, you're going to end up hearing a few yeses. And you only need a few yeses. But let me ask you a couple other things. When you go to present your deal, are you dressed like you currently are? Okay. Don't take this the wrong way, other than the fact I'm trying to teach you. You cannot dress the way you are and expect to have somebody give you money. Why? Not because you don't look nice. You look wonderfully nice. But you have to look conservative. How an investor thinks is an investor thinks, I don't want to lose money, but if I do, it's not the end of the world. But what I don't want is I don't want somebody running willy-nilly with my money. I want somebody who I feel is going to be a conservative business person who's going to show up every day to work, early in the morning, do the things that have to be done to build a business. They don't want somebody that might give them the impression that I'm going to give her my money and she's going to head to Tahiti and I'm never going to see her again. Okay, So you got to think about that. The other thing is how you connect with eye contact. I notice even like right now you seem somewhat shy, and that's a wonderful trait. However, in business, what people want to know is, do you look right at me? Can you connect with eye contact? Or what you t is what you are telling me the truth? And for some reason, shyness does not send a message to an investor that I'm either confident or honest. And you may be both confident and honest. But you got to get over that shyness trait where you're looking away. Look right at the person. Answer their questions. Make the comments. Be confident about what you're doing. Chances are you'd have a higher likelihood of success of securing the money. Now let's talk about who you're talking to. I can sit here and talk to poor people till I'm blue in the face, and I'm not going to get any money out of them. So you got to talk to the right people. There's a process called qualifying the investor. Okay. What qualifying the investor means is I don't want to spend countless hours talking to folks that have no capital to give me, and they're not what's called a qualified investor which is someone that has, and I won't give you the exact rules of it, your lawyer can do that, and there are differences and they change. But the long and short of it is, a qualified investor is someone who is wealthy and they have the income and or the net worth to prove it. Now the volume of income and the volume of net worth changes based on different political 
leaders and based on different time frames. So you want to check those rules and regulations by your state. You also want to check them federally and at the time you're chasing money. But they have annual income and net worth that makes them a qualified investor. I can normally dial in qualified investors pretty quickly. I can be walking down through the zoo with my kids and I can usually smell money. Mm -hmm. I can usually tell. But interestingly enough, in this day and age, there's a lot of people who blow smoke. They want people to believe they're wealthy, but they have neither the income or the net worth. Interestingly enough, there's a lot of people that now in this day and age have went the other way, which is the guy that's driving the beat-up Ford pickup truck or the beat-up Chevy or the beat-up Datsun from 1976 has a ton of money. He or she just doesn't want you to know it. So you got qualify the investor. Chances are better that your percentage of success is going to go up with it. Did I answer your question? Yes, you did. You still mad at me for that comment? <laughs>